if Palestinians went into Israel and started vandalizing stores, they would all be shot dead by IDF soldiers. But when it's the IDF vandalizing stores of Palestinians, it's totally a okay because the IDF is just defending themselves against a business. Now, Israeli army officials say they will investigate videos published on social media showing their soldiers vandalizing shops owned by Palestinians in Gaza City and Jabalia. They describe the behavior as inappropriate and contrary to the values of the Israeli army. Let's get more on this. With wow, do you see how dangerous these products are? They're just sitting there waiting to ambush the IDF. He's just defending himself. He's in no Hoda Abdel Hamid, who is in Ramallah. Tell us a bit more about this vandalism. Well, according to the uh, Israeli human rights NGO Beit Salem, uh, that issued a report a month before October 7th, uh, vandalism and looting is systematic uh, when it comes to the occupied uh, West Bank. And they went, the report goes on really depicting and, and collecting testimonies uh, from many Palestinians across the occupied West Bank who say that when the soldiers show up in their houses uh, for raids or to detain someone, they also ransack the whole houses, empty the cupboards, go through everything, throw basic foods on the floor. And many also said that they had money and jewelry stolen during some of those raids. So it is not no surprise that the IDF is stealing uh, cash and valuables from people. Hey, they they did learn from the best, I guess, the Nazis who did the same thing, would raid people's houses and steal their stuff. How are these people any different? Not something new. It might have been now happening more uh, because there is that atmosphere of revenge on any Palestinian, uh, regardless of uh, uh, regardless of what they think or not think, or uh, about the attack on October seventh. But certainly, Pal that is because the Israeli government loves using collective punishment, which is a war crime to do. You can't punish innocent civilians for the actions of another group of people. That is something the Nazis also did, uh, would collectively punish Jewish people and other groups of people that they disliked for the actions of, of others or just because they wanted to. Palestinians have been saying it's a form of collective punishment, the lack of respect to us or our properties, and the stealing and the looting. It has been going on for many years, but it seems that now it's actually increasing. There's actually even one um, a story of a fam a soldiers who go into a house and there's a piggy bank of uh, the child in that house. Well, the soldiers steal even the money that was in that uh, piggy bank. Now, when it comes well, that's no surprise, being that uh, most of the IDF are are made up of uh, right wing Israelis, you know, extreme far right wing Israelis. They have no care about if a person is a child or not. The fact that they're a pal Palestinian means they're a terrorist, and stealing from them is totally okay because the IDF is doing nothing but defending themselves even though, you know, stealing from people is not self-defense. It comes to Palestinians getting justice for that or hoping that a thorough investigation will be made by the Israeli military into that. Uh, many would tell you that they have no hope whatsoever because even more bigger incidents like the uh, killing of children just a week ago in Janine, point blank, while they were posing no threat, that goes uh, unpunished, so they don't... Yeah, the Israeli government does love uh, having the IDF shoot kids uh, while also claiming that they're just to protect innocent people and keep the casualty levels at the lowest possible, even though, you know, IDF soldiers will go into people's houses and just shoot them.
think that the stealing and the looting uh, will stop or anything will change when it comes to them. And many would tell you that Israel is just paying lip service, saying the right thing, but in fact, it won't do anything about it. And Hoda, I believe the Palestinian Authority has organized a upcoming strike. What more can you tell us about this? Well, there is a general strike that has been called actually Man, this IDF soldier is really persistent on looking for Hamas agents inside these products. You know, he's been every single thing he can find, just making sure that there is no Hamas in any of these products. He's just defending himself and the Israeli government from evil, you know, terror products. Really? by all the political factions, the unions, uh, the activists uh, here in the occupied uh, West Bank, and it's in support of Gaza. And this call is act it's a general strike. So if you look out, if I look out the window now, everything is absolutely shut, whether it's in the uh, public service or private businesses, everything is shut down for the next uh, 24 hours. And um, the, there's also call for this. You know, if Palestinians tried defending their businesses against the IDF soldiers vandalizing their property, they would be shot dead and be considered a risk for self-defense, for actual self-defense. To ha happen also elsewhere around the world in support of Gaza and also to reject the U.S. veto when it comes to a humanitarian ceasefire. And the call is really about putting pressure on the international community put to, to call for, an, for a humanitarian ceasefire and that to come as soon as possible and certainly to also put uh, some pressure on the United States. In my opinion, uh, the United States should probably be kicked out of the UN due to the fact that it's uh, turning into a rogue nation. Uh, they're supporting a government that genocide, which should also be considered a rogue nation because neither of these nations are following international law. And if you're not following international law, well, then you're a rogue nation.